Hey guys, welcome to the season finale of AB in the Films, and I figure that on this day, Thanksgiving 2012, I should talk about my favorite Thanksgiving movies. Now, originally, this was going to be a top 10 list, it moved into a top 5 list, and then I looked it up and I realized there aren't that many Thanksgiving movies out there. No. If they have a Thanksgiving-related topic, they usually relate it straight to Christmas. Perfect example, Miracle on 34th Street. No, I'm not counting that as one of my favorite Thanksgiving films. That's, a, that's another story. That's a Christmas movie. It's not Thanksgiving. Technically, it does have the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Okay. Anyway, I want to talk about some of my favorite Thanksgiving films. And the thing is, there's only three. So, I'm just going to come out and tell you what they are. And, uh, yeah, here we go. The Mayflower Voyagers. Okay, now this is a Charlie Brown half-hour special, and this one really doesn't get noticed a lot. I mean, it's the, it's the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special that gets noticed. And I think this one really deserves to be noticed. I mean, even though it came out, like, 15 years after Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, it's still pretty good. Uh, all right, let me give you the gist of this one. Um, the Peanuts characters are, um, they play the children on board the Mayflower, and when they get to the new land and they meet the Indians and everything, they have a huge um, celebration. And, you know, Linus and Charlie Brown are talking about whether or not they're going to make it to America. And Lucy is making them do work on the ship. And um, Snoopy and Woodstock are in the crow's nest and everything. And it get, it's really interesting and, and funny. And I do like it. Um, I like the Thanksgiving one a little bit more, but we'll get into that later. But I do like this one. I like it for, th for that reason, the fact that they take the kids and they put them... They put them in this whole different situation. A situation that we don't really see the Peanuts characters do. We just see them doing their own thing in modern time, when here they're placed in a period of time. So it's interesting to, to see that uh, Charles Schultz did that. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Oh, uh, the other thing I really love about this, and I know this doesn't really sound like something to be proud of, considering it's only a couple seconds, but I love at the end of this special when they play the theme song, but they don't play it, like, on piano. They play it with, like, a trumpet and everything, and it sounds different, and I like it. Like, you know, you know, they play it different, and I like the way it sounds. It's, it's interesting. But the Mayflower Voyagers, love that one. Next one. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Okay, if you have a list of your favorite Thanksgiving movies, this would have to be at least in the top five if you can find more than three Thanksgiving films. But anyway, uh, this one, um, I'll tell you the first time I saw it. The first time I saw this one was, uh, I was in the first grade, and it was Thanksgiving, and they played it um, uh, as an assembly right before we left for the holiday. And I didn't know that it existed. I never knew there was a Thanksgiving one, because I never got the Thanksgiving one on, v on the old VHSs when I was a kid. You know, I had uh, The Great Pumpkin, uh, the, uh, the, the original Christmas one, Happy New Year, the Easter Beagle. I never really heard of this one, uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. And when I saw it, it was actually, uh, it was interesting. It's sort of a kind of a tradition that I have. Like, every day, on every year on Thanksgiving, I always have to eat toast, pretzel sticks, and popcorn. <laughs> I haven't done that lately, but when I was, when I was, like, little, like, 10, 11, 12, even at age 8, I, I think I was 8 years old when I started this, I did that every year. Before we left to have the big meal, we would start with that meal. Well, at least I would. But, uh, yeah, that's what I did. And... This is the only uh, Peanuts uh, film I have on DVD. And the Mayfire Voyagers is actually on here. But, um, yeah, when it comes to Charlie Brown, I only have the holiday ones. I have the New Year one, the Valentine one, Easter Beagle, Great Pumpkin, this one, you know, all that stuff. I don't have all the other Charlie Brown specials. It's the holiday ones that I, I think we all grew up with. Um, but, yeah, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving is really good. I love, I love the fact that Peppermint Patty never listens to Charlie Brown. It's so... Funny, and he and, he's, and he tells Lin. I love it when he tells Linus, um, like, like Linus says, Charlie Brown. He says, "Why don't you call her back and tell her she can't come for dinner?" He goes, "You can't say anything to Peppermint Patty. You can't explain it to her because you never get to say anything." I love that. Um, yeah, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving definitely deserves a number two spot. 
number one. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Okay, this is something I have to watch every Thanksgiving, and I love this movie every time I watch it. This is not my favorite John Hughes classic, but it's up there, and it's... I think this the, this is the movie that defines John Candy as an actor. Like, I, I think his role as Del Griffith, I think, like, that's one of the greatest roles he's ever played in his life. Um... One of my fa one of my favorite um, scenes in that movie. I have so many funny, so many, some of my favorite scenes from that film. But uh, if you haven't heard of it, if you haven't heard of it, I hope you have. Uh, I'll give you the idea of it. Steve Martin plays. Uh, he, he's a guy in the advertisement business or marketing or something like that, and uh, he has to get from New York to Chicago. But what happens is his plane gets delayed, and he meets uh, uh, Del Griffith, who's John Candy. And, uh, it's pretty much a road comedy. They just get, they're trying to get to Chicago, and they just can't. They go by plane, the plane gets delayed. They get on a train, the train breaks down. They get an automobile, the car's not there. And it's so fun. Oh, and my, one of my favorite scenes in that is not only the scene, nearly every scene with John Candy in that movie is freaking hysterical. The scene when he's driving the car, he's doing the mess around, I think that's like, Everybody loves that scene. That's one of my favorite scenes. But my absolute favorite scene when it comes to Steve Martin in that movie, and I think you all know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to ruin it if you haven't seen this movie. When he goes, <laughs> when he finds out the car's not there and he goes back and he, talk, and he talks to the secretary from Ferris Bueller. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to ruin it if you haven't seen the movie. But you, if you haven't seen it, you got to check that movie out. That is hilarious. Um... I hope everybody who's watching this video has seen it. If you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it. Check it out anyway. I love that movie. Uh, there is a quote-unquote twist ending, which I will not dare ruin for you, but it makes me... It makes me... I, I hate to admit it, but it does. It makes me uh, tear teary-eyed a little bit at the very end of the movie. But um, it's a very, very well-made film. It's one of John Hughes' classic films. He, he, is, he was a... Man, he just made so many good movies. Um, but that's my number one favorite Thanksgiving film. I watch that every Thanksgiving. So there you have it, folks. Those are my favorite Thanksgiving films. And if you have a Thanksgiving movie that I just missed, or you have a favorite list, comment below or let me know on Facebook or something like that. Um, yeah, those are uh, those are it. Those are my top. Those are my top three favorite Thanksgiving films, I guess. So if you'll excuse me. I'm gonna eat my Thanksgiving night feast. What do you want? I can't cook a turkey.